Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve a problem related to the microphone and camera permissions of some apps after a major update in macOS. If you have an old Apple device, you have probably used the Open Core Legacy Patcher to get more life out of your Mac. In my case, as uh, you can see, I upgrade my old MacBook Pro Mid 2012 to MacOS Monterey. And we encounter this problem where some apps like Slack, Discord or WhatsApp don't have access to the microphone or the camera. And when we click on OK, grant permissions, it opens the security and privacy panel, but we do not find anywhere the freaking icon of the program. So as you can see in my screen with this method, I managed to add the Discord app, which is the one that was giving me problems. Uh, however, I still need to give permission to use the camera. So if you are watching this video, you probably already seen solutions that involves some kind of manipulation of the TCCD or transparent consent and control daemon. The problem with these solutions are that they need to have the system integrity protection enabled. And here is where the problem with open core begins. If you are an open core legacy patcher user, you can check the protection status from the settings menu. Here in the SIP settings, you can see that in the case of my MacBook, the status is set to lower. The way to enable SIP in this case will be used to check every single box. However, don't do that. There are many reasons, but the main reason is since the Monterey launch, open core needs this option to be disabled in order to work. If we enable it, when we reboot the computer, the system will crash when trying to boot. And believe me, you don't want to troubleshoot that. Now, to be able to add permissions at this point, we need to use a tool called TCC Plus. Uh, don't worry, I will leave the download link in the description below. And now with this uh, tool, we can grant permissions to any app. And the reason is that TCC Plus requires to have disabled the SIP and the Apple mobile file integrity, which are just the options we have with Open Core Legacy Patcher. Then, as we can see in the description list, there are a lot of permissions you can give with this tool. In our case, we are only interested in the microphone and the camera. So, all we need to do now is to open the latest release and download the zip file. Then just extract the file to an easy location. In this case, it will be my desktop. Okay, the next step as shown in the instructions is to obtain the ID of your app. And for that, we just need to replace this section of this command with the name of the program that we need to give permissions. In my case, it will be the Discord app. If you are not sure what's the complete name of the app, you only need to open the application folder and copy the name. Then, just to show how it works, I will open the terminal and taking advantage that one of the examples use Discord, I will only copy and paste it. Hit enter and there you have it. From here, we only need to copy the ID and put it at the end of the next command. However, as we can see, if we only copy the code without any modification, we will get this error. The reason for that is because the dot before the slash must be replaced with the path where the TCC plus file is located. And yes, yes, I know, I know that macOS is not precisely intuitive to get the paths of a file, but don't worry, it's very simple. The only thing we need to do is to drag the TCC plus file to the terminal and voila, we get the path. Now we only have to modify the line with whatever permission you need to grant access, followed by the ID that we obtained with the previous command. So for me, I need the permission for the camera. So I will simply replace microphone with camera in a notepad. Okay. 
copy paste it and boom now be aware that after we hit the enter key there are two possible results with this command one that said it was successful like the one we are seeing on the screen right now and the other give us an error message related to lack of permissions actually that same error came out to me the first time i tried to add the microphone this error shows because the script requires elevated permissions to run to fix it actually is pretty simple the only thing we need to do is to run the command as an administrator if you have ever used Linux, you probably know what I'm talking about. And it's to add at the beginning of the command the word sudo. With this, the terminal interprets that you are going to run an action as an administrator. After you hit enter, the terminal will ask you to write your password. And after you start writing, you will notice that any character comes out in the terminal. But don't be afraid, that's normal. So write with confidence your password and hit enter. And that's all. Now we can go to the preference panel and verify that the app shows now in the microphone and camera section. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this little tip will help you and you can continue to enjoy the latest version of macOS in your old but reliable Mac. Until the next time. Ciao, ciao.